time to do a tag. It's time to do a tag. Hey guys, I'm Kashan and you are watching The Book Archer. I got to work early today and I figured I had time to film a video. Yay! So I could not wait to do this tag. Books and Big Hair tagged me in the ultimate Harry Potter tag. So of course, y'all already heard me talk about how much I love Harry Potter and my booktube newbie tag. So I'm excited to get into this. This tag is about 30 questions, so we're going to try to make this as quick as possible. So uh, let's get started. Question number one, favorite book. I have two favorite Harry Potter books, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Yeah, don't ask me what happened to the dust jacket, Jesus. But those two are my absolute favorite. I love the storylines in those. They're so good. Question number two, my least favorite book. There, I don't know if it's Order of the Phoenix or Half-Blood Prince. I think I'm going to go with Half-Blood Prince. Yeah, that one's definitely my least favorite for a number of reasons, but we'll get to that in a little bit. <laughs> My favorite movie. My favorite movie would definitely have to be Harry Potter and the Goblet, Goblet of Fire. I was so, so, so excited to see what the other characters and stuff look like from the other schools. Because that's the only book where we really get to see them incorporated in there. And I just loved the whole atmosphere and vibe that they had going on during the wizard tournament. It was, it was flawless. Perfection, honey. Least favorite movie is The Half-Blood Prince. That movie and book, I don't know. I don't know if it was because of my reading experience with the book, but that movie was so much more boring than the other ones. And I'm like, I should not be worried doing a Harry Potter movie. Like, that's the only Harry Potter movie, Harry Potter movie that I've only watched like twice. Like the other ones I've literally seen countless times, but that one is just like not my fave at all. Favorite quote, oh man. My favorite quote is by Dump from Dumbledore, who has the best quotes in the Harry Potter series, hands down. Oh, what is it? Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. One only remembers to turn on the light. Favorite Weasley, Fred and George. I love Fred and George. They were some rebels. Like, they did not care about anything else. They were going to do what they wanted to do. I love them and I love their chemistry and I loved all their smart remarks and stuff. They were so funny. Favorite female character. I actually do not have a favorite female character from the Harry Potter series. And I really thought about it and I was like, hmm. Because Hermione's not like, no offense to Hermione, she's not like my favorite character. But there was no female character that I absolutely just loved. Favorite villain, Bellatrix Lestrange. I think that's pronounced it. Oh my god, I loved her. I loved her in the book. I loved her in the movie. She was she was hardcore for the cause. Even though it was the wrong cause, she was down. Down the right. <laughs> Favorite male character. My favorite male character would definitely have to be... I think I like Draco Malfoy as my favorite. Like, obviously he's not a good character, but I just found him to be so entertaining. Because I'm just like, he's such like a snotty brat. He was just so much fun to hate. Like, oh god, I can't stand Draco, but like in the fun way. Favorite professor. Professor Moody. I love Professor Moody. He's only had like that one all-seeing eye. On top of that, I think he was the, one of the few people that was actually, you know, hunted the bad guys for a living. Would you rather A, wash Snape's hair or B, spend a day listening to Lockhart talk about himself? I don't really want to touch Snape, so I would probably just spend a day listening to Lockhart talk about himself because I would find it amusing because half of it's not true. It was just, he was so over the top, my god. Ooh with Bellatrix or B get an angry Molly. I would, I would want an angry Molly. Bellatrix would kill me. Traveling to Hogwarts via Hogwarts Express or flying car. Hogwarts Express, duh. They come around the trolley. You get to get treats off the trolley and I'm all about the food. So Hogwarts Express. Kiss Voldemort and give Umbridge a bubble bath. Kiss Voldemort. First of all, Voldemort don't even have lips. If I had to give Umbridge a bubble bath, I would probably drown her. A. Hey. Ride a hippogriff or ride a firebolt? Ride a firebolt. Firebolt? Like, does it not sound fun to ride a firebolt? I would be on a firebolt in a minute. Is there a character which you felt differently about in the movies versus the books? Yes. I did not like Ginny Weasley in the movies at all. I definitely feel like her character was more likable in the books. I don't know what it was, but I just didn't feel any warmth towards her. Is there a movie you preferred instead of the book? Prisoner of Azkaban. That's such a, I mean, gosh, I love books though. It's so hard to like say you prefer the movie over a book. Richard Harris or Michael Gambon as Dumbledore. 
Oh my gosh, this is really, really, really tough. I love the both of their interpretations of Dumbledore. I definitely feel like Dumbledore was more warmer when Richard Harris played him. And I definitely feel like Michael Gambit had his own twist on Dumbledore. But I think, I think I'm going to go with the original Dumbledore. Yeah. Your top thing, person, or event which wasn't included in the movie that annoyed you the most. The fight in the bookstore. I don't, all I know is between the Malfoys and the Weasleys and I was really waiting for that part in the movie because when I read the book I wasn't expecting it because I'm like okay the Malfoys are always coming for the Weasleys. Y'all actually got to fighting so I wanted to see it on screen and they totally left the scene out and I was pissed. If you could remake any of the Potter movies which one would it be? Half Blood Prince. Which house was your first gut feeling that you'd be a part of? I really thought that it was going to be like Gryffindor or Ravenclaw. Which house were you actually sorted into on Pottermore? So I got sorted in a Hufflepuff. Which class would be your um, favorite? Definitely potions. Although Snape is the teacher of that class. It seems like it's fun to get on Snape's nerves so I'm all for it. Which spell do you think would be most useful to learn? Transfiguration or the transformation spell? Which character do you think at Hogwarts you instantly become best friends with? I think I would be best friends with Ron. Ron got a smart mouth and we would definitely like, you know, be talking junk together. Cause if you could own one of the three hollows, which one would it be? The invisibility cloak? What? Okay, is there any aspect of the books you'd want to change? This can be a character, an event, or anything. I definitely wanted Harry to end up with Hermione and not Ron. Harry and Ginny? Like, what? Favorite martyr, Dobby, master give Dobby a sock, Dobby free. <laughs> if you can bring back one character to life, who would it be? Definitely one of Ron's parents, not Ron's parents, Harry's parents. I would want him to have that, you know, bond with his family. That he Hollows or Horcruxes? Hollows. Horcruxes are evil. Get rid of those things. All right, so that's the end of the Harry Potter tag. I'm going to tag a uh, book geek, movie freak, and miss book lover. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. My time is running out. The battery's dying. Bye.